Hello everyone, in the last two videos I have shown you how to install Apache server and to create Django project. If you haven't seen them yet, I have provided link in the description. And in this video we will see how to deploy Django application on Apache 2 server. Before that make sure you have subscribed to my channel and hit the bell icon. Now let's jump to our instance. So this was the Django project and virtual environment we had created last time. And in the demo project we have Django application. So I have listed down all the directories. My project root folder is in home slash ubuntu. My project name is demo project. And this is the path. My application name is demo app and this is the path this is my virtual environment folders location and this is the path of WSGI file we'll need these directories while configuring apache's virtual host now we have our prerequisite let's jump into the development steps the first step is to collect all static files to the single location for this add static file variable in your setting.py so I'll open setting.py First I'll import OS And then we'll add static roots and static file variable Now we'll collect static file and simultaneously we'll also make migration and migrate the database. So let me quickly activate the environment and do migrations. Database is already migrated, therefore no change. And now we'll collect the static files. Step 3 Changing Permission and Ownership. Now I'll change the access permission of database file. Step 4. Now we'll do changes in Apache configuration file. Let's go to the location etc slash apache2 slash sites available. Then we are going to make changes in file 000 default.com. So first take a backup of it. This is the original content and we'll add few more lines path here. We'll add this path. I'll explain you what are these. First, let me copy paste the code. So, this is the path of static file. This is the path of Django project inside which wsgi.py file is present. Then, this is the project path and environment path. And last is WSGI path. 
the next step is to enable site now i'll enable site using a2 en site command a2 in site and a2 dis site are commands that enables or disable apache 2 sites oops oops we'll try one more time okay then 000 default file is already enabled now we will install WSGI mod in Apache. And we'll fire A to EN mod WSGI command. The last step is to restart the Apache server. And we'll refresh the site. And wow, instead of Apache's default page, our Django page is running. So that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. You learned from my videos. And if yes, then like, subscribe and comment. And deploy beautiful sites on the internet. Have a nice day. Bye.